Welcome back to Shinobi Striker. Season 5 is upon us and the first character to grace us with this DLC presence is none other than Madara 6 Pats. We're gonna take a look at all the jutsu he brings to the table, all the cosmetics, as well as the brand new ultimate for the fast types that you get when you buy the season pass. Speaking of season pass, the final two characters of the season just got confirmed. We're gonna get Ishiki and Baryon Mo Naruto at some point. But that's the future, let's look at what we got today. The season 5 patch hit, which gives everyone a new chakra jump that goes up vertically and it's an awesome new movement tool. We also got a brand new map with a day and a night version and of course the start of the show, the Madara 6 Pats DLC. Is he worth your money as a heal type? Let's find out in this review, brought to you by Cook Unity. When it comes to ordering food, there are food delivery services, meal kit subscriptions, there are heat and serve fridge fillers, and then there's Cook Unity, the first chef to consumer platform. You get signature meals from award winning chefs delivered straight to your door. With an ever changing menu of hundreds of dishes for any palate or preference, Cook Unity has over 50 chefs from some of the best restaurants in the country, bringing their signature dishes to your table. The meals are fully cooked, so all you have to do is heat them up and enjoy them. You can choose from hundreds of meals, the menus are posted two weeks in advance, and Cook Unity will tailor those meals to match your preference and your diet. The subscription is super flexible, you can pause, you can skip weeks, you can cancel anytime. A few days before your delivery, Cook Unity will text you their recommendations, and you can stick to those or just choose your own, it's totally up to you. Now look, let's be real, you're probably gonna order order food this week anyway. So instead of ordering the usual, why not try out Cook Unity this week and order a meal for half the price. If you go to cookunity.com and use code globku 50 at checkout, you'll get 50% off your first order of Cook Unity. That's cookunity.com or use the link down below in the promo code globku 50 And thank you, Cook Unity, for sponsoring this video. Let's start with the Season 5 Ultimate for Defense Types, Rasengan Unison. It's a very straightforward ultimate, you activate it and your character lunges towards your target. If you connect, Kawaki then puts his hand on your your back and buffs your Rasengan with Karma. What I really like about this ultimate is the fact that it charges super fast and the fast types didn't really have an ult like this before. It deals good damage but it's not a one shot ultimate which is fair given how fast it charges up. It's a nice little bonus for those who bought the season pass but it's nothing completely broken or mandatory for defense types so if you don't want the season pass you don't have to feel bad about not getting it. And before we get to Madara I really like the brand new stage. It is a huge stage which gives it a completely different feel from any other stage currently in the game. The one thing I dislike about it is the night version. That snow is very thick, it's actually blinding, it's like the map comes with its own default hit and miss jutsu. Maybe tone down the particle effects on that one and we're absolutely golden. But I've kept you waiting long enough, let's talk about Madara. When you buy the character you get both of his jutsu, his ultimate, two Madara outfits, they're just cosmetic though, they don't bring any exclusive skills. You also get the Madara six pats hair and a brand new weapon for heal types which is the Madara staff. This staff actually has a new moveset and it emulates the character's actual moveset when you pick Madara himself, which is something I'd like to see a lot more often. These developers go through all of this work, making a whole new moveset for every single DLC character, and they don't make that moveset available for you to equip on your custom character. It kind of feels like a waste. This time they gave you the Madara staff, and honestly, I hope to see more of that in the future. But you're here for his jutsu, so let's not delay any longer. First up, Shadow Thunder. It unleashes thunder in a wide range, restraining and damaging opponents, and this, folks, is one of the best jutsu jutsu that this game has ever seen. While you're charging this ability, your character is completely armored. You can only interrupt this charge animation if you have an ultimate jutsu or a very unblockable jutsu like lightning net. If you pull it off though, you'll damage and stun enemies for a long time, so it's a wonderful setup jutsu. The area it covers is pretty wide as well and the range only increases if you charge up the ability. It can be charged up to three levels. The first level, or releasing the button immediately, just unleashes the jutsu stunning the opponent. If you charge it up to level two, it will stun the opponent and disable their substitution jutsu. And if you charge it all the way up, its range becomes even bigger and it stuns the enemy for a really long time, disabling their substitutions and lowering the opponent's defense. And if that wasn't enough, this jutsu is also completely unblockable and it can be used as a counter to several defensive jutsu. True Seeker Orb is completely destroyed by this. Same goes for Needle Jizo and Petrification. It undoes all types of armor, so Susano armor doesn't stand a chance. You can even catch a defense type that activated Demon Hunter, deleting the super armor from Demon Hunter itself. The only things this jutsu does not destroy are Sand Shield and Water Pillar for some reason. Oh, and of course, Kamui. You can just walk freely within that lightning if you have Kamui. Kawaki's Karma is also gonna suck it all up, no problem. I don't think I need to tell you much more to convince you of how good this jutsu is. Honestly,
honestly, it just does so much. And because of that stun, it can be used in combination with pretty much anything you have in your loadout. It's a crazy good jutsu and it's like nothing we've ever seen before for heal types. So with that out of the way, let's move on to the next jutsu, which I'm going to call the Limbo Clones. This is a two stage jutsu where you summon a bunch of clones and then they can charge your enemy with a second activation. The clones are summoned around you and they stand around for 10 seconds total. After that, they just disappear. If you press the button again while they are active, they will move towards you. So if you want to direct clones, you have to activate them, move away and then press the button again. If they come into contact with any opponent, they will just gang up on them. The opponents will be stunned while this animation is happening and they'll just be taking the damage. This happens even if you don't activate them. If you just summon them in place and someone rushes you, the clones will automatically take care of that problem for you. This is also an unblockable ability, but unlike the previous one, it cannot be used to directly counter any of those defensive jutsu, unless it's something like the Susano armor, because that just loses to anything that's unblockable. Instead, you can use it as a defensive jutsu by itself, by just standing in the middle of your posse. This is your turf, and they're not welcome here. But you might be wondering, well, if the enemy sees the clones, they'll just stay away from them, so it doesn't really work as a defensive jutsu. Well, the thing is, the clones are almost invisible to enemies. You can kind of see a shimmer, but you don't see them clearly like your allies do. So it ends up being a very nice trap for incoming enemies. I was even able to catch a Kamui Lightning Blade with this. They're really good at protecting you. Finally, let's talk about his ultimate, the Infinite Squiomi. This is a two-stage ultimate. When you first activate it, night falls, and then a light shines bright in the sky. When the light shines, every enemy on stage is completely stunned. This jutsu has global range. The only way to avoid this stun is if you're dead when the jutsu is activated, or if you have a counter ultimate ready to go. And well, I also got this weird exception where a character subbed an attack at the right moment, but let's just call that a glitch. But anyway, everyone is stunned, so what now? After a short delay, you can activate the second stage of this ultimate, which will not have global range anymore, instead it will only affect characters that are close to you in a radius, trapping them in a tree and bringing them down to 1 HP. That HP that you just stole is transferred over to you, so you heal yourself if you catch anyone with this. In addition to that, it also absorbs their ninjutsu and substitution cooldowns. So even though they don't die, you just put them in a very good place to do so. Now this jutsu sounds broken and I do think that in the right circumstances it can be powerful, but it has two major weaknesses. One, team coordination. This ultimate is never going to be a problem if you're not playing against a pre-made team. Because if you're matching with randoms and you're not coordinating, players are going to see the stunned enemies and they're going to attack them, basically ruining the second stage of your ultimate. And the second downside is this ult takes a really long time to charge, so chances are you won't even have the chance to pull it off. And that's the Madara DLC for Shinobi Striker. In my opinion, it's a wonderful way to start this season of DLC, with two new jutsu and an ult that are completely different and bring something new to the game, something new to heal types. Now, if the next heal type DLC could actually heal, that would be nice too. And if you've tried Madara, let me know what you thought of him in the comments down below. And don't forget to try out today's sponsor, Cook Unity, because you're probably gonna order food anyway, so might as well do it for half the price. Code GLOBCO50 for 50% off your first order, the link is down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching, my name is Globku and I'll see you next time. Boy!